Must I dress like this for the entire time we work on this case? Of course, my lord. <clears throat> my lady. It is a necessary disguise, as this culprit has stated it w they want to silence you. Given it is known that the Queen's guard dog and spider are working on this case, and you have made progress. Indeed I have. And as if that spider could contribute anything useful to this case. Well, actually, I have, Mr. Guard Dog. Trancy! I... When did you... How dare you... Why? Well, to answer your question, CL dear, my business here is to investigate the crime scene. As I am the Queen Spider, arrived just a few moments ago, and don't you think I wouldn't intervene when someone is mocking both my reputation and of my position? Tch. Whatever. Why are you dressed like that anyway? Oh, you didn't really think you were the only one that was going to get targeted after it being announced that the Queen's guard dog and Spider were both going to be working on the case? For a spider, you make up quite a good story, but I guess it's in your nature, as your web is full of nothing but lies. Young master, he is telling the truth. CCL, maybe use those clever dog ears you have instead of barking up this ridiculousness. Maybe we can actually get somewhere then. Why, you bloody... Young master, El Trancy, the police have discovered something. Well, what is it? Appears to be some kind of bag, but something's in it. Well, open it. I am. Oh! oh. <laughs> well, that was rude. Uh, see how they stole it. After them. I must say, they've got quite impressive stamina. Shouldn't we ask our butlers to capture them? No need. They've trapped themselves in a corner. Twas a foolish decision to enter a blocked alleyway. Wait. I... I recognize that voice from somewhere. Well, CL, you actually have a social life. Congratulations. Now, do you mind telling me who this is? It's you from the ball. You were the one that slapped Viscount Lord Druitt. Huh? Is that so? Well, my respect to you, even if you are a possible candidate for a criminal. Sir, uh, they're a... They're a woman? <clears throat> um, yes, Trouncy. This is Listener. Listener? Meet Earl Eloise Tra- Oh, so you've heard of me. And I must say, you make an awfully attractive man. But I'm sure you're even more of a beautiful woman. I- Trancy, what are you doing? Get away from her! Oh, calm down, Ciel. I was merely observing her character and characteristics. And while doing so, I must say, Ciel, you do make a rather adorable girl as well. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Trancy, you sound like your cousin. Uh, don't compare me to that lunatic CL. Anyways, we need to head back on track. Uh, listener, wasn't it? CL and I are going to have to take you back to his manor, as well as we're going to need that bag back. <laughs> Charming might get you somewhere. But unfortunately, that's not the case today. We're going to uh, have to ask you a few questions. God damn it. Sebastian, I order you to catch her and bring her back to the manor. Yes, well, that just proves that she knows something about this case. And what's in that bag? It appears so, though I wonder. Why was she also cross-dressing at that ball? And to go out of her way to dance with me. Uh, Why was she there? <sighs> what did she want? It seems like I missed out on a lot of fun. Oh, I would have loved to see a listener in a fancy tuxedo at the ball. 
Or to see you, CL, in a beautiful dress looking so dainty. Shut up, Aloise. My lord, the girl has been restrained and is ready to talk. Good, then let's go. But before that, I have to get change. Oh, must you? Yes.